What we see right here um, is actually the overview about our new booking service. Um, there are a few things that might be relevant for you um, before we look um, into the service is that on the left side, on our menu bar, things have changed a bit. So um, before the new booking service, we had a booking area which uh, um, has a lot of features included, which are now available on that entire booking overview. So things like add a manual booking, participant list, booking overview, and also the function to redeem a product voucher are currently not visible anymore as separate points, but all are included in the new booking service. As you can see, um, the features um, of a new booking and also the redeem product voucher um, are now included in the booking overview directly. Same with the participant list, which has an own um, folder right here, um, where we can access participant lists for today or for tomorrow with quick filters, filters that have been added um, that will provide you a way more, um, well, fluent process to create your uh, participant list for the actual day or for the day um, after. Beforehand, we need to um, filter for these specific dates. So this is definitely a way that will will foster the process to create the participant lists. But looking back to the booking list um, in the first place, you can see that the overview has changed a bit. Um, in general, what we did um, is we added some more manual points that can be adjusted by yourself, depending on your needs um, on a booking list. So what you can see in here um, is some kind of drag and drop system um, that is um, well possible to be adjusted. So we have the, the features in here and also what we can do, we can add these columns to our booking overview. Important for some of you um, are the notes in here because notes um, are some kind of individual thing that you add to a specific booking and might be very important for you guys. So in general, um, for now, I will keep all the features in here. I will apply it. And now I have the specific um, drag and drop system up here in our um, overview um, that we can change the overview about um, the specific booking list. Um, in general, the booking numbers in here have changed a bit. So you can see a slightly longer number as a booking number. That's due to the reason um, that we inserted a second number um, that you can see in the um, as in here, um, and that's the um, order number. So we have a booking number and the order number, which are now um, two different uh, values. As a few as a booking number might be allocated to um, different type of products, like additional products, like um, a general normal standard product. Um, so these things will then be bundled within one booking number, while as an order number as is individually per product. Um, looking at these features, um, we have also added um, a slightly different layout in regard of the booking status. So as you can see here, we added a few color codes um, that determine the status of a specific booking. Booking status can be different, so it can be confirmed, which would mean the booking is being processed um, successfully, a ticket has been created, and the booking is fixed. We also have status um, like declined, which would mean that you would have an offer configured with a manual confirmation, and you, you um, decided to not accept the booking, which would lead to the status of declined. If a manual confirmation booking comes in, um, you also will have a status of action required. Action required would mean you need to jump into the booking and actively accept the booking um, or, on the other hand, also decline the booking, which would lead to either these two status. Within that booking overview, um, things have also changed when we jump into a specific booking. So um, let's see um, if we jump into a booking, what happens? Beforehand, 
what we can see here on the right side is also the check-in status. So actual um, status was that we need to jump directly into the booking to check in our customers. Well, check in the check-in function is mostly used that you have a good overview afterwards who has been checked in and also to validate the tickets um, that have been used on that exact day. So if I would check in all the, um, the booking, all connected um, tickets will be checked in and marked as validated. That's especially important if you offer products that might be not um, date related and are just connected to your opening hours, then um, it would be a very important part to actually validate your tickets in here. Within the filters up there, um, you can then filter for today and tomorrow um, to have a good overview of what um, is happening in the upcoming days. And also, if you have a lot of bookings with a manual request, um, the filter of action required is also very helpful because it will show you with one click all the bookings that you need to um, actively work on um, then because the locking, so the request type will be um, invalid after eight days. So um, we always have to ensure that we, well, correctly do something with the booking within the eight days when the booking came in. You will be receiving um, a reminder for manual requests, uh, nevertheless, but also this is a very helpful thing if you use manual exceptions on a specific products um, quite often. So jumping into a booking directly, we will see that um, our overview has changed a bit. So while as our old overview, um, a few things were mostly um, not in kind of drop downs. Now you have a specific bundled overview within your booking. So in general, what you can see here, this is a manual request. You can see the action required part. And now I have the part where I can either decline the booking or confirm the booking. So um, in general, what we have in here is this is a test booking. Um, it has been um, outdated already, so minus 60 days. So we can um, either decline or confirm the booking here. And if we decline the booking, normally the amount that has been blocked on the credit card in general, um, for example, will be uh, unblocked. Um, so no, no real money transfer has happened at that exact point. Up there, you also have um, the option to cancel a booking and also to change the booking. I really want to emphasize um, that the change booking functionality is currently limited to change date and time, and the alter product function will be released during that year. So um, due to feedback, um, we firstly focused on the change date and time, and the product alteration will be published within that year, but currently it's only possible to change a booking only by date, or by time. Going back to the bookings, um, we also have a few confirmed bookings to look at. So if I look on the booking that takes place on the 16th of March, the first booking, I look now look onto a specific um, booking that is in the future. So we bothered by the total of zero in here. Um, this um, is due to the update that is currently running. Um, but um, apart from that, we have a few options that we can adjust within the product. On the first place, we can say um, is how the booking is being paid. So is it um, unpaid? Is it paid by invoice um, or paid by cash, etc.? This is connected to the payment methods that you have configured for your POS um, and also for your um, ticket shop. And then um, within the overview and the drop downs, we can see a lot of customer information um, where we have still a lot of functions that have been existent in the old booking service. So we can edit customers, uh, we can edit the customer information, we can resend the ticket and also the sales receipt, and we can resend the invoice that has been created for that specific booking. The next point in regards of the participants, 
here we can check in all um, our customers on that specific booking. And we can also select only specific bookings that have been checked in. Also, what we can do is access any individual ticket that has been created for one specific booking um, to maybe regenerate uh, it to provide it to the customer. The notes section, um, actually very self-explaining. So any notes that we want to add for a specific booking can be added in here. And then if we select the notes to be displayed in the booking overview, um, it will also be something that is displayed. The message history um, will show all the contact that um, has been done between you and your end customers. Um, depending on your way of communication, um, you can also use external email tools, but you, from the system, you can communicate with your customers directly via the booking. Um, the good thing is that everything will be kept within that system and the entire history will be shown in here. So if you would like to have a specific request to your customer for specific booking, I would recommend to contact them via the message tool in here because it can be um, good um, access in the, in the future if you need to um, have um, that information visible again without scrolling to the entire mailing tool. Within the notification up here, you will then also receive some kind of notification sign if a new message has been dropped um, by one of your customers. The assigned user part um, on the bottom, um, this is a part where, we, where you can then um, allocate specific users to a specific booking. So that's more or less then relevant if you have one specific guide connected to one specific um, booking. Um, apart from that, um, the assignment of appointments um, would be done within the calendar still. Going back to the booking overview, um, in general, um, you can now also um, search for more than just booking numbers and um, uh, specific products. So the filter here is now connected to all the data that is in the booking overview. So easy to um, filter for specific elements. The import section, um, that's specifically relevant um, if you are relatively new to um, Rigondo and you want to import bookings from an external system or from some kind of Excel sheet that you're currently using, um, you can um, import these bookings in here. Um, so you can choose a template, so the format in which your existing bookings um, should be um, exported or imported, and then you can download the template and re-upload it with the booking overview in there. Within the template, you have a description of what information needs to be inserted in the um, imp um, import bookings. Um, so this is actually quite easy to understand if something in that process might not uh, work properly, just feel free to contact your relevant or responsible person within Richard. 